because my memory is very, very, very short. Like I'm assuming it's food. It's like calories, 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 oh, and then digestion. I'm like, oh yes. <laughs> hey, it's Helen from Precision Nutrition. And the question we get all the time from clients, both male and female, is how can I lose belly fat? And we have a great answer for you that's backed by science, but not the answer you expect. First, let's get something straight. Having a little more belly fat isn't a problem, both aesthetically or even from a health standpoint. You can't have, a, you can't have six pack abs and be unhealthy, and you can have a little extra body fat and be healthy. However, there is a point where generally if you go above a certain threshold, it becomes a health issue. And this is measured by waist circumference. So for men, if you have a waist circumference of over 37 inches or 94 centimeters, and if you're a female or a woman and you have a waist circumference of over 31 inches or 80 centimeters, you have an increased risk of type two diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and dementia. There's a particular type of fat that's particularly risky for health, and this is called visceral fat. Visceral fat is found in your abdomen around abdominal organs, and it's incre it incre increases chronic inflammation. It also increases blood clots and arterial plaque, and it's associated with increased risk of metabolic disorders. You probably notice that people come in different shapes and sizes. And this is because of hormones, genetics, and metabolic conditions causing body fat to be distributed in different places. There's some general tendencies. Men tend to have more belly fat than women. As we age, we tend to get more belly fat. Now we can't change our age and our sex and our genes, but there are things that we can do and we're going to get into that next. The no BS way to lose belly fat. So I'm not going to beat around the bush. There is no way to spot reduce belly fat in the same way. There's no way to lose uh, fat specifically from your left tricep. Now, this is probably really frustrating for you to hear because you hear social media influencers and magazines and supplement companies that tell you that you can target belly fat, but it's not true. You, you can't target belly fat weight loss. But here's the truth. The only way to lose belly fat is to lose fat overall. So generally, if you become leaner, then you'll lose belly fat because you've lost body fat. So how do you lose body fat? Well, you have to maintain a caloric deficit consistently. So you have to be taking in less calories than you're using consistently over a period of time. Let's get into some tried and true practices for getting into caloric deficit. Consume a diet centered around minimally processed food. While there's no magic food that will help you lose belly fat, there are foods that will derail your efforts in getting leaner. These ultra tasty, more processed foods that you tend to overeat because they taste good and give you more calories. Meanwhile, minimally processed foods like lean protein, colorful fruits and vegetables, high fiber foods like legumes, nuts and seeds and whole grains fill you up and you take in less calories. Most people have an easier time losing body fat if they eat one to two palms of lean protein per meal, one to two fists of colorful vegetables per meal, and eating fiber rich foods like whole grains, legumes, seeds and nuts that are more filling than refined foods. Specific amounts vary from person to person. If you wanna find out what you should be eating for your body based on goals and your lifestyle, take a look at the description below. We have a link to our nutrition calculator that will give you specific recommendations for, for you. Eating slowly helps you feel satisfied while eating fewer calories. This makes it harder to overeat and it helps you with digestion. Find movement you like. Here's the deal. You hear about different types of exercise that are best for fat loss, but if you don't do them consistently, it doesn't matter. So the best exercise for fat loss is exercise that you'll do consistently over time. Ideally to lose belly fat, you'll do some sort of combination of resistance training and cardio. 
But the most important thing by far is to find exercise that's pain-free, doable, and enjoyable for you so that you'll do it regularly over a long period of time. Approach change with self-compassion, not self-criticism. I mean, this is, probably sounds pretty woo-woo, how sciencey is this? But there is science that supports that self-compassion is linked to healthier eating behaviors, while self-criticism is linked to unhealthy eating behaviors. What's self-compassion? Self-compassion is how you treat your best friend, assuming you're not a terrible person. To learn more about self-compassion, take a look at the video description below. We have a link to the full article, How to Lose Belly Fat, that goes into more about self-compassion. One last thing, abs won't make you happier. Yes, as we discussed before, having excess amount of belly fat is unhealthy, but there are people who are lean and trim and healthy who want to get even leaner to get a six pack. Well, there's nothing wrong with wanting abs because they look cool. Being ultra lean is not healthy. They tend to be linked with other new problems and stress. So know why you want to change. Is it for your health? or is it for aesthetics? And remember that you get to be happy wherever you're at. Uh, thanks for watching. If you found the video useful, click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to get all our future videos. In the description below is a link to the full article and to our free nutrition calculator. And if you have any suggestions for future topics, don't forget to comment below and see you next time. Oopsie. Why do some people have more belly fat than others? Because life is unfair. Mm, no. <laughs> One last thing. Losing, getting abs won't make you happier? What? Yada, 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 stuff happens. You know what, actually I spent a ridiculous amount of time trying to um, get abs. My sister always had a six pack and she just carried her weight around her, her legs more. And so she was like, oh, my legs are so big. And I'm like, I just want, and we, we you know, like genetically the same, right? Well, relatively the same. And then we grew up in the same household. We were both active, but I never, like she would like just walk around with six foot all the time. And she wasn't doing anything. And I was like trying to do everything to like, and it was just a lot. It was just body fat distribution. And I was like, well, good luck with that. <laughs>